Hi, Franco Cavallari here, coming to you from Biologic to talk about something that I hear abundantly. Um, I've had a couple of questions in regards to sulfur in our foods in relation to sulfonamide drugs. Now, these are two separate things. I've heard people talk about the fact that if you're allergic to sulfa drugs, these are sulfonamide type drugs. These are common drugs that are antibiotics that are used to treat infections. The molecular structure of a sulfonamide is very different than the typical sulfur in our food. I gotta tell you, almost every protein that you consume is loaded with sulfur. Whey proteins have an extremely high level of cysteine and cysteine, which are sulfur containing amino acids, and they are critically important for structural components, for antioxidant activity, as cofactors in enzyme activity. The sulfur in our foods is not related to the allergies of sulfa drugs. Those are completely two different things. Don't let anybody confuse you and take your N-acetylcysteine, especially as an anti-inflammatory agent, agent that supports antioxidant activity, an agent that supports glutathione peroxide activity. It's an amazing antidote to acetaminophen toxicity, things like that. N-acetylcysteine has sulfur in it. It is not the same as the sulfur drug allergy. It will not give you an allergy, it will not create uh, digestive problems. And again, all of the protein that you consume is loaded with sulfide bridges. So these are two sulfide components that help create three-dimensional structures in the actual protein configuration. Critically important in the diet and in your body.